and welcome back. This is Baldur's Good with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. When we last left off, we were here right outside the Crystal Tower. That's what I'm going to call it because that's what they gave us the option of calling it. And I don't like Circus Tower. Anyway, I did a little bit of leveling up. Uh, Everybody is either 51 or 52. Uh, Ibel and Novan are very close to level 52. Uh, they are up to 34, 28, 25 and 34 on their respective job classes. I'm a little bit paranoid about going into the next place, but I probably don't need to be. I, I probably didn't even need to do that little bit of level grinding. Didn't take me too long though, so I'm not too concerned about it. We need to enter the Crystal Tower. See, look, that's such a better name. And this is the final dungeon of the game. But don't worry, we won't be finishing the game today. We got quite a bit more work to do. Including going up here. Something's happening. What could it be? It's the Eureka key. It's the way inside. The key that Dogo gave us worked. Let's do it. We need to go into Eureka, the Forbidden Land. That's what I just said. The Forbidden Land, Eureka, it's... Holy crap, where the hell... Oh, we're in space. What the hell? What kind of enemies are we fighting in space? We've got... Uh, upgraded somethings. These are Hayokas. Or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and go all out on them. And I'll show you why soon. Uh, but just for the record, feel free to go out all, all out on these guys. If, if you're, you know, around my level, I should say. Around my level. Down goes one. Go, Eroga. And it doesn't do that much damage. If only we had some kind of better white mage spell. Lightning! Oh no, lightning on everybody. Do a little bit of damage. Nothing too bad. Everybody can just attack for now. Um, you got, or, yeah, Sackman and Abel so, suddenly have higher speed than everybody else most of the time, so they're, they're, that's why they're getting the higher job levels, because they're getting more attacks and all that kind of stuff. But about we get 5,800 gil, 4,000 experience, and a job level up for Balloon. Nice. We're going to keep going. We're actually going to get some of the best weapons in the game today. Well, we'll see how far I get before I have to stop this particular video, but we're definitely going to get something. Uh, we get a Fuma Garb here. This is actually for Abel. Upgrade by two. I don't think anybody else can wear it. Can he? He can, so I'm going to put it on him instead because it is so much better of an upgrade for Sackman. He will get the Fuma Garb. Need to go around to this other side. Uh, yes, we are somehow in space. The key has transported us into space. Here we get the elixir. And another fight, another new enemy! Yes? I'm gonna go with yes, this is an Abeya? Sure. Uh, we're gonna use Fire Raga on it. Once again, Aeroga, because it is a flying gargoyle type monster. And it should probably go down very easily. Because this kind of looks like a dividing enemy, to be honest with you, so. Yeah, it goes down pretty easy. It's not one of those uh, the monsters that are always by themselves. Usually they come in twos. We get 2,700 gil and 2,000 experience, a job level up for Abel, and a tranquilizer, which is always appreciated in case somebody gets hyper for whatever reason. Uh, we get a white musk out of there. And now it's time to head to the bottom of the circle again and go on to the next part of the dungeon. From here, we need to... Let's go left. Let's use left. And up here, in this little room, there's one treasure chest holding on another white musk. I don't get what's with the white musk, to be honest with you. But they love giving it to me. It's not that great, to be honest with you. But, to be honest, I haven't used it, so I don't know for sure, but I don't remember it being very good. In this room, though, we get another white musk. Chocobo's Wrath! And a phoenix down, which is always appreciated. Always appreciated that, uh, that phoenix down. So now we go south, kind of to the middle, and 
that's pretty much it. So let's go to the left down here first and down these stairs. Hopefully this will lead us where we want to go. This will lead us to a shuriken, which is a throwing item for Abel. Which is always nice. And then... Hold on. Yeah, I already missed something. I can't believe I missed something. I was like, there should be a fight by now. There it is. There's the secret passage I was looking for. And here we got uh, the six-legged horses again. These are... Oh, that's... Uh, it's not Odin's horse. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Let's cast Thundar on him. Thundaga, I should say. Naroga. And attack again. Yeah, I remember there being a boss fight. We're, we're basically doing a boss run today. Is Aroga going to be enough to finish that one on the left off? No, but Thundaga definitely should be enough to finish them off. And then Sackman can finish off the other one and we'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, down goes that one. Go, Sackman! I am going to save all the throwing items for, you know, very late in the game. No, no point in using them now, I'll be honest. We have 5,600 gil, 4,000 experience, and level up for Novin. So everybody except for Abel is level 52 now. So let's go through the secret passage here, kind of, and get ourselves a ribbon. But it's a trap. And it's a trap against, I'm going to call it a boss. I'm going to call this a boss. This is a ninja, and we're going to use uh, Bio on it, as well as Aroga. And we're going to boost with Sackman. We have not done that before. Uh, boost is attack. You can use it twice in a row, and then attack, and he should do max damage. Uh, but if you use it three times in a row, then he hurts himself. He cannot boost that many times in a row. 22 hit. Good lord. Go boost. And go Aroga. We'll need to heal after that one. Yeah, this is. I'm calling this a boss, even though it probably doesn't classify it as a boss. Because he has so much fucking HP. Alright, uh, let's just go for the boost after the. Or sorry, the, the attack after the one boost instead of the two boosts this time. Because it almost did max damage, so. We're getting there, we're getting there. Kiraga goes off, and then hopefully the buyer will go off, and that should be enough to finish him off, I think. We're definitely getting close to that point. Full heal for everybody. Damn it, he got in his attack, and he poisons. What the hell? Why do you poison? Go, Bio. Not enough for the victory. Damn you. Go, one more Bio. Yeah, I guess we'll heal just in case. Just in case, and you go for a regular attack because he should be damn close to being dead right now. There we go. Down goes the ninja. And for that battle, we get 14,400 gil, 7,100 experience, and a level up for Abel. So everybody is up to level 52 now. But we got a ribbon. That is the most important thing. We did not get a full heal, though. Well, he's got like two things on him. Okay, um... Is so Ribbon still a helmet in this? Yeah, it's still a helmet. It protects against, protects against all status ailments. Will that cure him? It does not cure him. Fantastic. I honestly need that most on my white mage. The Ribbon, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up and I'll be right back. Alright, let's keep going. We got more loot to get. Look, cause I said, we were getting some of the best weapons in the game today and we haven't gotten a weapon yet we got the ribbon which is probably the best helmet in the game but we haven't gotten any weapons yet so let's go down here i choose the left path first and here we get an elixir which is always nice and another battle with something new nope sleep 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 nears i'm going sleep nears so let's keep going we're still in search of our first weapon i was told there would be weapons you have not given me any yet game. The same goes me. In this chest we get another shuriken. I guess that could be a weapon, but really it's a, it's an attack item. That only the ninja can use. And a phoenix down, and then it's down to the next area. Fine. We'll take on the next area then. Let's keep going and... Oh. Oh, snap. Let me heal. 
because I know better than to grab the spinny awesome thing that's on the pedestal without healing first. You're not gonna just give this to me, game. Fine, let's let's try. What are we what are we gonna get? The Moonring Blade, Force of Darkness. Uh oh. Let us see what you are made of. And we get into a fight, which is the first boss fight in the the first official boss fight I should say in the dungeon. And it's up against Amon, which is Oh god, what was that guy's name? He's a reskin of the uh, the guy that changes his changes his weakness all the time. So guess what this guy's going to be doing? I don't have a scholar with me, nor do I particularly care. And you will see why in a second. He does get two attacks because he's technically a boss. But we should be able to do a massive amount of damage on him anyway, and I'm going to use Bio because it's non-elemental, so it does not matter what his weakness is. It will do pretty much the same amount of damage to him no matter what, which is just under 2,000 damage. Even Bloom's getting in on the action right now. Uh, oh, don't use Drain on him. I did that once. Yeah, it did not work out for me. I remember that. I was like, holy crap, how does Drain not work out? But it did not work out, so we're gonna use boost twice. Uh, what did it do? It drained my life and gave it to him. It was just awful. Oh, critical hit for just under 4,000 damage. This guy is very, very tanky. Barrier shift. This is when he changes his weakness. So if you do have the scholar, you will need to re-find out what his weakness is. Apparently, it is not wind because he did not do very much. Did not get very much damage done to him that way. Okay. One more bio. Uh, you should probably heal. Let's go for the Kiraga. And then you can attack now. And it should do max damage, I think, because of the two boosts. I, I, I'm i not sure on that, though. Lizaga. On everybody. Damn it. Down goes Abel. <laughs> no, Abel. Especially since I'm pretty sure I'm gonna f I'm gonna finish him off with this one. Why did you pick on Abel? Now the Kirag is wasted. Well, Sackman needed some healing, but still, still wasted. And let's go for Bio. Uh, you need to raise Abel. Then you need to go for a regular attack. Hopefully, Bloon will get in before this guy dies. Yes! Maybe! <laughs> Come on, I want to be able to get the experience, but I don't want to lose. Okay. This works out. This will work. This will work. I thought we were much closer to killing this guy. He does not have as much HP as the other guy that we just fought, but still, he lasts so much longer. And let's go for the bio again. And uh, Kiraga on everybody. You just go for the go for the regular attack. We should be so close to finishing this guy off. Another 2,500. Not enough for the win. There we go. Critical hit for 4,200, and down goes Amon. Hey, hooray! We got him. We get 20,350 gills, 6,700 experience. Job of luck for Abel. Job of luck for Novin. And that's it. No items. Um, he can drop some items, like black holes and that kind of stuff. Same stuff that I went over last time. Uh, same for uh, stealing. No, wait, he doesn't drop those. He drops uh, high potions and, and phoenix downs. Uh, he, and you can't really steal from them either. But we get the moon ring blade out of that. How good is that? Is not as good as the Kikuichi Manjis, so I'm not even gonna bother equipping it. And did you notice? Full heal! After every time we get one of those weapons, we get a full heal. But it looks like we're gonna have to take on the rest of this dungeon next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Melvin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.